Hey guys, what's good? As you can see, we're back with another tech review. And more specifically, we're going to be reviewing the new Azul Access 3 mini PC. And before I start, I want to give a big thank you to Azul for sending this out so that I can review it. And yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, as you can see from the packaging, it's super clean, very appealing. I love the purple and the blue mixed with the white. I don't know, it just, uh, it's, it makes it stand out, but it's also subtle at the same time. The overall aesthetic is a five out of five for me. Aside from that, as you can see, it's easy to open. It slides right out. There's no real hassle for you to get the PC out of the package. And what's inside the box is the mini PC, an HDMI extender, and the power cable. So moving on to the tech specs for the Access 3, it runs Windows 10 Pro. It has a quad core Intel Gemini Lake N4100, four gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and it runs 4K resolution at 60 FPS. And not to mention it has two USB 3.0s. Another cool thing to note is that it's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, so it makes it portable enough for you to plug it into any TV, display, or projector, making it easy for everyone to use. So overall, the installation was easy, setup was flawless, and it's pretty much, you know, like a plug and play thing, and you're set to go. But in terms of quality of the build, it's super durable, very compact, uh, it's fanless if you guys didn't know that, and it's a lot faster than the previous builds. And right now I'm just going to be showing you guys some footage of me using the computer, showing you guys how seamless it is to use. And as you can see here, I'm playing Marvel Future Fight on the new Blue Stacks 4. Uh, graphics are pretty good, to be honest. I'm playing on a 40 inch screen, so it's everything is like scaled up. But nonetheless, graphics are good. There's no lag. As you can see here, it might lag depending on the graphics you use. I set mine on high for this game, but you guys can, you know, tweak it to how you want it. But for the most part, the Intel graphics definitely can handle games like these. And for sure, if I minimized Bluestacks and made a smaller window, it would definitely run super smooth. And on top of that, in-game, I'm moving a lot more just so I can cause more stress on the FPS to see if it can still handle it, and it did. So on top of testing games, I wanted to check out how well it can handle YouTube videos. So I just pulled up one of our recent videos, which is the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And as you can see, it's playing 1080p pretty seamlessly. But not only can it play 1080p, it can go up to 4K at 60 frames a second. I'm definitely going to be setting this up in the living room so that the rest of my family can use it. And if we have like cousins or, or other family members that want to stop by and use it and play some games with us or watch some movies this definitely can handle that this is definitely one of the more beastly computers let alone mini pcs that i've ever had and it's definitely a contender in the market there's just so much packed into this little thing and if you guys want to purchase one definitely click the link down below uh zool is an amazing company and be sure to send them some love and that's pretty much it for this review. Let me know if you guys need any questions answered down in the comments down below. I definitely give this a 5 out of 5, especially for the price point. It's super easy to use, and if you guys have a family, this is definitely a thing that you guys should get. Maybe put it in the family room, your living room, and everyone can enjoy it, you know? Yeah, I think that's pretty much all that needs to be said. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new around here, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button, comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.